And now I give the floor to the rep distinguished representative from Sri Lanka, Minister of Social Empowerment, His Excellency Anupapeu Pascual. You have the floor. Madam Vice President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Sri Lanka, it's a pleasure to address the 16th session of the Conference of the State Parties to the CRPD. It is of added significance that this year Sri Lanka serves as a Vice President of the Bureau. Sri Lanka became a signatory to the UN CRPD by ratifying the Convention on February 2016. Madam Vice President, Sri Lanka has submitted the first national report on UNCRPD in 2018 and it's under review and we hope to work more closely in the review process and beyond. Sri Lanka has protected the rights of the PWDs since 1978 by its second Republican constitution through its human rights chapter and then by the Act of 1996 as well. Under the provisions of 1996 Act, the National Council and the first ever Secretariat for the PWDs was established. In order to comprehensively address matters relating to the rights of PWDs, a new bill has been drafted, which includes an independent monitoring mechanism as an oversight body in accordance with the CRPD. The rights enshrined in the Convention are protected by the new bill and also it is expected to be passed in Parliament very soon. Sri Lanka published its national policy for PWDs in 2003 and upgraded and developed the national action plan. Madam Vice President, Sri Lankan government has also taken a number of legal and policy measures by establishing an accessibility regulations in 2006 and wide cane rules to enhance mobility for the blind and the visually impaired, impaired community in Sri Lanka in 2017. The sign language bill has been drafted for the rights of the deaf and hearing impaired community in Sri Lanka. The visually impaired rehabilitation trust fund plays a significant role in assisting persons with visual impairments. Sri Lanka is committed to taking further measures to integrate its disabled community so that they participate as full-fledged citizens in the life of the nation. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you, Excellency, for your statement.